Hi all and welcome back to my first ever ongoing let's play of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and we are once again in the middle of finding stuff for Professor Snape in his potions class and we will continue with that but first I just want to say that if you happen to like this video or this channel I would love you to drop a sub or like and any and all comments are also very welcome having said that we will uh, simply press on with trying to get the potions ingredients. Oh, yeah, we landed on this little tongue here from, well, some, somewhere above. And it, we might have been set up by Snape. Oh, I see. Let's see, I'm not so sure why you could push them backwards like that. But we could push them down. Yeah. And maybe that's what we want to do. I hope that's what we want to do. Because if not, we have a bit of a problem. No, that was what we wanted. Okay, so where do we want that? might be as simple as just pushing it into into this little slot right here from what Amani told me I think that's the molly that's one collected or there's a big old hole up there That's what I call an elevator stone. Yep. Got a little save. Okay. Is there anything back there that we want? Nope. I don't think that actually did it. Aha! Uh -huh. Got ourselves another card. And <laughs> Slytherin is still in the lead somehow.
Eladora Ketterich, 1656 to 1729, which who discovered the use of chiliweed. She nearly suffocated after eating it, recovering only when she stuck her head into a bucket of water. Yeah, so that was the plant that actually grants you. actually grants you gills so you can breathe on the water so it's very nice if you wanna Nintendo! if you want to do some underwater exploration yeah Nintendo! So we've done that, and I think we want to catch that now, yeah, because that's, yeah, I think that's all we could do, because that's where we came in, that's where we came out. Um, did that do anything? Yeah, 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 it did activate that. I just didn't hear the sound of it. I wonder if you can actually light something up. Oh, okay, so that's probably how it should have looked. A little bit... shaky the game as of late. There's been a few glitches, which I don't think we had early on. Hopefully that won't be a sign of things to cut. Oh, God damn it. Get another one of these. Okay, so that one is still visible for some reason. Oh no, it's the bloody Baron. Sure, what happened there? But I mean, he did open again, so you know. Which gave us this treasure, which was very nice of him. So every time he actually goes through, we can come. Oh, we can get back out. Okay. Please do your thing, Mr. Baron. before I don't feel bad for you one second nope oh it's 
that the last one? Oh, we actually do need that frog, so let's get that first. Woo! And that'll also stop the croaking, which is nice. hidden? Nope. Oh, you could actually do something with that statue, I think. Nintendo! Nintendo! <laughs> yeah, we uh, got some extras. That's right. Hmm. That looks like Wigan tree bark. All right then. Okay. So that's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we actually need... That's what we need. Oh, yeah, okay, so now... We can use that stone again? Haha! -ha. Puzzle solved! It's closed off. Oh no. Point. Okay, that's cool. Is that? Is that just an extra thing? I think it is, but we want. We want it. Okay, so not really an extra thing. I think we definitely need to do this. Three hundred and twenty-one beans. We are on to a good thing here. Okay, is there anything up here other than that that we need to do or want to do? I don't think so. Yeah, better to do that because the camera angle was a bit, you know. Yeah, I know. I know, Harry. I'm also a bit anxious about this. So far, so good.
That must be flubberworm mucus. All right then. Flipendo. Oh, I see. So that's the eventual way out. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, it's him again. So, okay, so he... Maybe he goes in a circle? Okay, so that starts that thing. Got some of that. You, Mr. Baron. He's not so bad. We wouldn't have gotten this stuff if it wasn't for him. Let's follow him around for one full circle. Okay, I think we are done here. Okay, let's see. We are almost dead. There we go. So who was that guy? Who was that? Oh, this guy. Hengist of Woodcraft. Medieval dates unknown, driven away from his home by muggle persecutors. Hengist is supposed to have settled in Scotland, where he founded the village of Hogsmeade. The Three Broomsticks Inn is alleged to be Hengist's former home. Looks very perky. That he does. Anyway, very nice. We got ourselves another card. Let's try and keep out of the way when he inevitably returns. Oh no. Oh, well, we do have some uh, health now. 
There we go. Because this one can definitely be pushed. Yeah. No. No. No hurry. Good effort, but not what I was wanting to do. That's more like it. That's what we want. Hmm, that must be Disney. Cool, cool, cool. And no secrets that I can see. That is actually Snape's. I think we did it. Late again, you lazy boy. A further three points from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. The other students are off to the Halloween feast. Join them, if you must. Is on the rampage. It's cornered Hermione in the girls' toilets. She needs our help. We must try to rescue her straight away. Yes, of course, but first. Nipendo. 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 I mean. Hermione is a thrifty girl. She won't die. Okay, now let's do it. Or, you know, have a quick look at some stuff. Right on right armors, you win. Nipendo. Harry, what's that smell? Pink. 
Nintendo spell to keep that junk. Nintendo! Is he dead? I think he's just been knocked out. Come on, let's get out of here. Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Up! Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your comp writer, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw! Let's play Quidditch! Was that the snitch? Here comes the Raven, comes the Seeker! Dodger! Oh! Here comes the Gryffindor Seeker! Here comes the Bludger! Come on, Harry! Um, sorry, Professor. No! The Snitch got away! Almost as if it on, stops Potter. every time I am. Almost on top of it. Come on, Harry. Um, sorry, Professor. Wonderful. Gryffindor wins again. My name's Lee Jenkins. Signing off. Thanks to Harry's skill as a seeker, Gryffindor won the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Harry, Ron, and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert, his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something fluid and silvery slithered out. It's an invisibility cloak, said Ron. They're very rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Harry read. Use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak, while Ron and Hermione helped him prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry, said Hermione. You can't stay invisible while you cast spells. Filch might see you. With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. 
There's definitely stuff up there. Okay, that's how that is. I think this might be a super good place to end out in the middle of a filch thing. Yeah. Thank you for watching this part of my very first let's play of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and that you might drop a sub or a like. I also hope to see you again in the very next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.